The Huawei P40 and the P40 Pro are launching anytime now and I'm going to be sharing the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. So it's that time of year again and Huawei fans are eagerly awaiting the launch of the Huawei P40 and the Huawei P40 Pro and it's expected any time now. While leaks have been pretty scarce since my previous video on the Huawei P40, we now have a few more confirmations as well as news that it's going to be launching very soon. Both the Huawei P40 and the P40 Pro have now been listed on the certification website Tenor, giving us more detail and letting us know the devices are coming soon. The Huawei P40 carries the model numbers ANA, AN00 and ANA TN00, whereas the P40 Pro is ELS AN00 and ELS TN00. The Tenor listing confirms that both the Huawei P40 and the Huawei P40 Pro are going to have 5G connectivity, but this was as always to be expected given that they're both going to be powered by Huawei's Kirin 990 system on chip which does have 5G support. We've already had a leak case for both the Huawei P40 and the P40 Pro. They confirm what we already knew that both models are going to be coming with a rectangular camera housing on the rear. We can see the Huawei P40 case is similar to the P40 Pro and although the camera cutouts don't look to be too different, we know the P40 will have a triple camera setup and on the P40 Pro we're expecting more. Next up we've had live photos of the Huawei P40 Pro and I have to say it looks stunning. We were of course expecting the P40 Pro to have physical buttons but this new live photo says otherwise. We've got a waterfall style display with some very steep curves on both edges and of course the punch hole selfie camera in the top left. While this phone looks incredible, it was posted anonymously without the source of the leak, so I would be skeptical for now, and to me it looks like it could well be a photoshopped Mate 30 Pro, but given the somewhat pixelated image, it is hard to tell. We've also had great news when it comes to pricing on both the P40 and the P40 Pro. The predecessor was a huge success in multiple markets thanks to its great value and incredible photography and it seems Huawei are going to be trying to incentivize the purchase of the P40 and the P40 Pro by making the device cheaper. Of course the Huawei P40 is going to be their first international release without the Google services and this is something that may put many people off so they need to show their users that it's going to be okay. While Google services have become an accepted part of Android, they aren't necessarily required and we've got so many third party applications that provide the same functions so as long as Huawei's mobile suite does a great job then it will be okay. Rodent950 has taken to Twitter to advise that the Huawei P40 range is going to be between $519 and $951 and this is going to be dependent on model with RAM and storage variants. For those that missed it, we previously had live photos of the Huawei P40 Pro and while it does look pixelated, it falls in line with the photo I showed you earlier. The photos appeared on Weibo and they show us the front as well as the back of the phone. Now these photos were provided by Digital Chat who has since deleted the images but of course we still have them. While it does look like it could be the P40 Pro, it could still be another device entirely or again another Photoshop. But we can see a dual punch hole camera in the top left with a very curved display. We've also had photo renders as well as more cinematic ones of the P40 Pro from popular concept artists such as Wacker Khan and the P40 looks incredible. There are leaks suggesting that we're going to get a Huawei P40 Pro Premium Edition, a Huawei P40 Pro, the standard Huawei P40 and some people are saying that there may also be a P40 Lite. The Huawei P40 Pro Premium Edition and the Huawei P40 are very similar in design but the Premium Edition has an extra camera on the rear. Considering we've got so much information now I'm going to run through the specs of all of the models to help you guys decide which one is best for you. We'll start with the Huawei P40 Pro PE and this is the most premium edition. With the Huawei P40 Pro PE we get a 6.7 inch full screen curved OLED display. The display is going to be a Quad HD Plus resolution of 1440 by 3120 and this gives us 550 pixels per inch. As you can see we've got the dual punch hole camera in the top left, the display is going to be curved on all four edges and while there hasn't been any mention of refresh rates we're expecting Huawei to provide a 90 or even a 120Hz display. 
The P40 Pro Premium Edition is coming equipped with an in-display fingerprint scanner and it's going to be using Gorilla Glass 6 protection. Rumors are stating that the punch hole camera in the display is going to be a 40 megapixel sensor along with a 3D time of flight depth sensor. If we take a look at the rear of the Huawei P40 Pro Premium Edition, we can see it actually contains five cameras in the rectangular housing. The Huawei P40 Pro PE is rumored to be housing a 52 megapixel primary sensor with an 8 and a 16. We've got no details of the lenses, but we are expecting a periscope lens with 10 times optical zoom. And of course, we'll likely have an ultra wide lens somewhere in the housing. The Huawei P40 Pro PE is of course powered by the Kirin 990 system on chip and that's coupled with up to 512 gigs storage and 12 gigs of DDR5 RAM. It's all going to be powered by a 4700 milliamp hour battery with 45 watt fast charging using wires and apparently an incredible 25 watt fast wireless charging as well. It's of course going to be running Android 10 in the form of EMUI 10 and it's going to be 5G compatible. Next up, we've got the Huawei P40 Pro. With the Huawei P40 Pro, we get a 6.5 inch curved display. It will of course be an OLED display with a Quad HD Plus resolution of 1440 by 3120 and it will be a 90 or 120 Hertz refresh rate. It's reportedly going to have a screen to body ratio of 98%. We get a pill shaped dual punch hole camera for the selfies. It's reportedly going to have the ultra wide angle as well as a 3D time of flight camera within this pill shaped housing. The Huawei P40 Pro is going to have an in display fingerprint scanner and it will of course be protected by Gorilla Glass 6. When it comes to the rear of the Huawei P40 Pro, we get a quad camera setup in the rectangular housing. Reports are suggesting that the primary camera is going to be a 52 megapixel camera that's also going to be using pixel binning technology to produce 13 megapixel photos in low light conditions. We're also expecting a 20 megapixel ultra wide, a 12 megapixel periscope and a 3D time of flight depth sensor. The phone's going to be powered by the Kirin 990 system on chip, which again is 5G compatible. Reports are suggesting a choice of 10 or 12 gigs of RAM, along with 128, 256 or 512 storage. It's no doubt going to be UFS 3 and there will be expandable storage options with Huawei's nano cards. There were initially rumors of graphene batteries being used in the Huawei P40 Pro, but Huawei themselves have already confirmed that this isn't going to happen. We're expecting the Huawei P40 Pro to be around 4,500 milliamp hours, and we're hoping for the 45 watt fast charge along with the 25 watt wireless. And of course, it will be running Android 10 in the form of EMUI 10. Finally, we've got the standard Huawei P40. While we normally get a P40 and a P40 Lite, I'm assuming it's not going to be the case this year. We haven't had any confirmations yet, but Huawei have added the P40 Pro Premium Edition, so the P40 is possibly going to be the lowest variant. One thing we do know is that the standard P40 is going to have a flat screen unlike the other two models. We also had news that it's only going to have three cameras on the rear, and according to some leakers, it's not going to have the periscope lens or the time of flight depth sensor. One thing we can be certain of is that it's going to be smaller and it will offer lower RAM and storage configurations than the premium models. The Huawei CEO has also confirmed that the phone will be running Huawei mobile services, which means it's not going to be coming bundled with Google. Now, this may be a problem for some, but they're no doubt going to provide a reasonable suite of all of the apps we need. There are plenty of third party app stores, mail applications and YouTube apps, so I can't see this being too much of an issue. And there are also ways to get Google services on Huawei phones anyway for those that are sure they need it. Now the predecessors launched in March so we can no doubt expect the Huawei P40 range to be March 2020 and with many manufacturers choosing to release earlier than normal this time round we could even see a launch in February. When it comes to pricing we haven't had any solid leaks some people are saying we can expect an increase whereas others are saying a decrease. I would expect the Huawei P40 Pro PE to be around £950 or $11 to $1200. The P40 Pro to be around £850 or a thousand to eleven hundred dollars and the Huawei P40 to be somewhere around seven hundred pounds or eight hundred and fifty dollars but as I said earlier there are rumors that we could be getting a price drop because of the lack of Google services. Of course as any more solid information comes to light I'll be sharing with you guys straight away but as always I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. Who out there is waiting for the Huawei P40 and which one are you waiting for, the Huawei P40 PE, the P40 Pro or the standard P40? But 
thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down twice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.